Good morning from Winter Garden, Florida. Um, Lou and I are staying at the Winter Garden RV Resort. It's actually a trail collection and it's super close to the Thousand Trails Orlando RV Resort. It's actually like 21 miles or like 30 minutes um, away, so not bad. Um, so anyways, today we're going to do a day in the lifestyle vlog. And as you, those of you that have been following us for a while know that at this time of the morning, Lou is still sleeping. So everything's gonna be dark and quiet when I get inside. I'm gonna feed Lexi her breakfast. I'm gonna make myself coffee and I'm gonna get to working on editing a vlog. Um, and then once she gets up, we'll get our day started with you guys. See you in a little bit. So Lou is up and about. I am done editing. Now it's time to upload. Um, but it's time to pick up. <laughs> so I'm going to bring you along with me while we make the bed and do the household chores. Open up all the windows. Get some fresh air and light in here. And get our day started. So you'll see the dinette's a hot mess. But it's a great area. Something we didn't have in our last RV. So it's somewhere I can work. Somewhere we can have our meals. We can sit here and watch TV. So everything on here basically goes on the bed. We just take it off overnight to sleep. So let's make this bed and transfer everything from over here to over there. And then dishes. Put away all the clean and wash all the dirty. <laughs>
done and Lou is up. Lexi's in bed taking it up. <laughs> um, we'll be getting ready a little soon, not yet, to head out. We have some errands to run and Lou actually has to get on the roof to do a little tiny thing. Um, and I am not done working. I still need to create the sneak peek of the two vlogs I edited for our Patreons. Um, as well as create the thumbnails. So hopefully by the time I'm done doing all of that, we can start getting ready and either heading outside and working on the roof or taking off and running our errands. So I'll see you soon. Okay, it is a little after two o'clock. I am done working. I do not plan on opening that computer anymore. Who still has to open her computer? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I, do. I still have to work today. Yeah, and I'm starving. It's already 2, so I have been fasting. I believe already for over 16 hours. I stopped eating before 10 p.m. last night. Um, so I defrosted what I'm going to have for dinner, and I took out what I'm going to have now for first meal. So let me show you what we've got going on. So I need to put away all the dishes I washed so like that I can have the stove free. I am going to make myself some uncured, no sugar, apple smoked bacon, apple wood <laughs> smoked bacon, and then some pancakes now for breakfast. And then later, I went ahead and defrosted a frozen salmon patty, which I'll probably have over some heart of palms rice. And I think I'm going to make this teriyaki style. I'm almost out of butter, so I'm defrosting a stick as well. Um, so that is dinner. That is breakfast. Let's put this stuff away. And the kidogi, so I've got the bacon done, a second pot of coffee going. Lou is getting what she needs. Lexi is clipped so that she can do a PB and the ladder is out so that she can head up there today. So last time Lou was on the roof cleaning the AC and putting that sealant tape that you guys saw in one of the last vlogs, we decided to put some reflectix in the AC so like that it can also help keep it cooler because it had been freezing when we were in Peace River. Well, last night it finally felt hot while we're here in Winter Garden and we turned on the AC for the first time in several days and it smelled like something was burning. So Lou is going up there to remove the Reflectix in case that's what it is. Um, so something easy, simple, nothing for her to be vlogging while she's up there. She just tossed down the culprit. So let's go ahead and grab that so that we can discard of it. Now that Lou finished with the AC on the roof outside, she has taken apart the inside to go ahead and clean out those filters. In the meantime, someone's taking a little nappy in here. Oh, did I disturb you? I'm so sorry, pretty girl. Lou is grabbing our reusable grocery bags, Aldi, as a matter of fact, because because there is an Aldi's literally like right next door to the RV park <laughs> and that is super convenient. So next to the RV park there's an Aldi's and across the street, almost across the street, there's a Publix. So everything is super close walking distance. There's everything here. It's Colonial Drive. So. Yeah, one of her favorite stores is right next to Aldi's which is Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight. It's true. <laughs> so I have some basic items um, that we ran out of in the pantry and in the fridge so we might as well walk over and go get it get some steps i will do a little unhaul <laughs> when we get back getting our steps in
does a self checkout. Check that out. A little bummed they didn't have any heavy whipping cream. Um, so I had to do it. I went ahead and just went with the half and half since there was no heavy whipping cream. And it's not a bad price. It was actually $2.65. Um, other cold items we got is some sharp cheddar cheese, which I think their prices on their cheeses are always so amazing. It was it was just $1.89. And their uncured smoked ham. Um, also, I really love the quality of it. And this one was $5.49. And the last cold item I got were some organic cage-free eggs and these also as you guys know that prices of eggs are going through the roof were actually five fourteen. and i did get two different produce items i need some green peppers so that we can make sofritos and different things of that sort and this three pack of green peppers was $1.99 and then a bag of onions and the bag of onions which is two pounds was $2.19 and the very last item is some bread because every so often I crave some bread and butter or sandwich or peanut butter on it. So or egg sandwiches. Um, definitely got some keto bread, which was $4.19. So all of this that you see here, let's move that out of the way. There we go. Was $23.54. So not horrible, but it could have definitely been better if this would have been cheaper and this would have been cheaper. <laughs> Time to put some stuff away. Let's start with the eggs. Put them in my little container. I get peppers I always prefer getting the ones with three tips at the bottom instead of four because the ones with four actually have more seeds inside of them so let's go ahead and put these in the fridge even though I don't think I have too much space so I may just have to move things around in here that one will fit in there and so we're off walking again Lou is craving some crusty bread, like a baguette style type of bread where it's nice and crisp, crusty and hard. On the um, outside. On the outside, yeah. <laughs> and Aldi's didn't have anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and walk to Publix across the street and see if we can find something like that. It's about 0.3 miles away. Here we go. When we pulled in yesterday, this was not tarped, but it is now. This is the office laundry room at one of the bathroom facilities. And it looks like... It's action tent fumigation that is here working on it. And as you'll see from the Science Trade Head, we're at Winter Garden RV Resort. Publix is that way. Actually, see the park right here? And I don't know if you can see it, but the sign is like right there that says Publix. <laughs> decisions, decisions. So we've got Lou some baguettes and some English muffins and some fruit. Um, on the way to Publix in this same little plaza, Here's a ton of things that you can pick to eat here so you don't have to drive anywhere to go eat somewhere. There's an Italian restaurant. Mm -hmm. There's Italian a Italian garden pizzeria. Yep, that's what it's called. There's a pokey restaurant. Um, and there was Tijuana, uh, Flats. Tijuana Flats and then a diner called Eggs Up Grill. Mm -hmm. There's a liquor store right next to the Publix. And there's a couple of other stores. There's more to this plaza. We just didn't walk the whole plaza. We only made it up to Publix. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to throw that out there. <laughs> For those of you that are going to be coming to Winter Garden, you just got to cross the street to come eat somewhere if you don't feel like cooking. The pizza smells good. And the pizza does smell amazing. <laughs> All right. We're walking back to the RV resort. We'll see you when we get back to the train now. Hi. We're back. Hello. Are we gonna do a greeting? Yes. Yes, we are. Take that off. Turn on some lights. Hello. Hello, Lexi Lou. Hello, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. We weren't gone that long. We just went across the street. Yes. Hi, we're gonna do that across the street. 
Lou loves her bread. So we did go ahead and go with a baguette. And the baguette was actually $2.29. So not horrible. Probably could have gotten it at Walmart for like $1.79 or something like that. I don't know. Maybe. The English muffins, which she absolutely adores, were actually buy one, get one free. So $5.29 for both of these. And then the other thing she got were some bananas. She got three bananas. There's another one in there. And the bananas, actually, the bananas were 57 cents. And she got one more fruit. She got a pear. And her pear was $1.64. So that is our grocery haul for today. Lou hasn't been feeling too hot lately. Her tummy is a little upside down. So she's going to have a bland diet today. So I'm going to boil this plantain. I'm going to peel it now and chop it. And she's going to have that with some plain mashed potatoes. Um, I will be having the palmini rice with the salmon that I showed you earlier. So for now, I've already got the water going to boil. So let's peel this and chop this peeled and chopped let's throw them in here to boil so she can have this alongside her mashed potatoes later so you'll see Lou laying back there in bed now it's time to relax she's playing her games Lexi is laying in the bathroom that's her favorite spot to just lay down and nap and I am gonna turn on YouTube and catch up with my watch later playlist and see what I'm behind on. I'm like three months behind. Who's up first? Let's see. Let's go to watch later. Aha. Uh -huh. So first up is the Keto Twins. Let's start catching up on some of my YouTube. Lou is making herself a little snack. She's got some English muffins with some light butter and some cheese. And I am still watching YouTube. Now we're watching Ruled Me. Someone missed her afternoon walk, so we're going to head out there now. Oh, you want to go for a walkie, 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 walkie? Someone's excited. <laughs> Let me get the flashlight, baby. It's only 7.30 and it's already super dark out here. Okay, so it's a little after 7.30 and I am feeling super hungry. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start working on my dinner. It's a very simple dinner, but I'm still going to show it to you guys um, so that you can see what I've got going on. So I will be making this rice, but it's made of heart of palms. So basically, this is what it looks like in the packet. So you take it out of the packet and you warm it up for about two minutes and then you add some fat, so whether butter or oil to it and keep stirring and warm it up for another couple of minutes and then that's it. It's done. Easy peasy. So I'll be adding butter to that. Um, I am going to have a side of avocado and a little handful of kale. You did see that I defrosted salmon earlier. This is from Aldi's. It's a skimpy little piece of salmon. I'm going to season it very lightly with salt, black pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. And the reason why I'm doing it lightly is because I am going to be adding some teriyaki sauce over the salmon, the rice, and the kale, and the avocado. So that's basically dinner. All right, so that is emptied out. Let me break it apart and stir it up. Okay, the rice has been toasting up for a couple minutes. I just threw in a tablespoon of butter. I'm going to season it with some garlic powder and some pink salt and let that continue cooking until it has melted down and is well combined. I'll take it out and then start working on the salmon. I'm also going to go ahead and remove loose plantains to boil some fresh water for her potatoes now. I've got the rice out and served it over the cauliflower and her plantains are out too. Let's add some oil, just a little bit of EVO oil, to the bottom of this pan because I do want the skin of this to get crispy. So let me open up this packet and put it skin side down. I did pat this dry before I threw it in the pan and now that the skin is getting crispy, let's go ahead and add some salt to that flesh as well as a little bit of onion powder. 
garlic powder, and a little bit of black pepper. I'm going to let it cook on this side for a couple minutes and then flip it around for another minute or so. This should cook very fast. All of this whiteness on the edge is telling me that it is ready to get flipped. Let's see how that skin looks. Hopefully it's super crispy. Ooh, blistery crispy. All right, so we'll leave it here for another minute and a half, and then I'll take it out. Loose water spoiling, so time to throw in her Idaho mashed potatoes. Okie dokie, time to take this out. Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's put that on top. Now let me get my avocado, which I've already cut. Now it's just a matter of taking it off the skin. Okay, so I am served. My avocado is salted. So now it's just time to drizzle some of that teriyaki sauce on it. And then Lou is served as well. She has the butter on in case she wants to add some to her mashed potatoes. And we are going to watch a movie. We're watching The Nice Guy. So it's 10 o'clock. You'll see Lexi's eating her dinner. Let me save an hour and a half of your life by giving you this advice. Do not watch Good Guys, right? That's what it's called, Good Guys? What? Good guys? The nice guys. The nice guys. Don't lose an hour and a half of your life. Don't watch the nice guys. It's on HBO. I'm sure it's in other um, streaming programs too. It was horrible. It was torturous. <laughs> but we had to stick it through all the way to the end. It's just a thing. If you start something, you got to finish it. But my gosh. When Lexi's done eating her dinner, we're going to take her for her final walk of the night um and then go ahead and tuck ourselves in so i'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog here if you enjoyed following along on our day in the life while living in the rv please give us a big thumbs up i love to read your comments down below and if you haven't subscribed yet please do so the very next vlogs that are coming up are going to be the campground tour of the winter garden rv resort and then the neighborhood drive from the campground to the Walmart and seeing everything there is to see um, in this little area. So we will see you in the next vlog. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.